give me key shield, and if you're tired, they is hot, camels are raw, and we meet to not speak the world. But now these hot days is the bad blood stir. Thou art like one of these fellows, that when he enters the confines of a tavern, claps me his sword upon the table, and says, God, send me no need of thee, and by the operation of the second cup, draws him on the drawer, when indeed there is no need. And I like such a fellow. Come, come, thou art as hot as a jack, in thy mood as any in Italy, and as soon moody, as soon moved to be moody, and as soon moody to be moved. By my head, here come the Catholics. By my heel, I care not. Follow me close, for I will speak to them, gentlemen, good den. A word with one of you. And what but one word with one of us? Couple it with something, make it a word and a blow. You shall find me apt enough to that, sir, and you will give me occasion. Would you not take some occasion without going? Mercutio, thou consort with Romeo? Consort? What dost thou make us of minstrels? And thou make minstrels of us. Look to hear nothing but discords. Here's my fiddlestick. Here's that shall make you done down consort. Talk to in the public haunt of men, either withdraw to some private place or do some holy degree or else depart. All men's eyes gaze on us. Men's eyes were meant to look, and let them gaze. I will not budge for no man's pleasure. I. Well, peace be with you, sir, but here comes my man. But I'll be hanged, sir, if I wear your livery, Mary, go before to feel he'll be your follower. You'll your worship, in that sense, may call him man. Romeo, the love I bear thee can afford no better term than this. Thou art a villain. Tybalt, the reason I have to love thee doth much excuse the parting rage to such a greeting. Villain, I am none. Therefore, farewell, I see thou knowest me not. Boy, this shall not excuse the injuries that thou hast done me. Therefore, turn and draw. I do protest, I never injured thee, but I love thee better than thou canst desire till thou shalt know the reason of my love, and so good Capulet, which name I tender as dearly as my own, be satisfied. O calm dishonorable, vile submission, a last Dakota carries it away. Tybalt, you rat catcher, will you walk? What wouldst thou have with me? Good king of cats, nothing but one of your nine lives, that I mean to make bold with old, and as you shall use me hereafter, dry beat the rest of the eight, will you pluck his sword out of his culture by the ears, Make haste, let mine be about your ears, ear it be out. I am for you. Gentle Mercutio, put thy rapier up. Come, sir, your facado. Job and Volio, beat down their weapons. Gentlemen, for shame, forbear this outrage. Tybalt, Mercutio, the prince expressly hath. Forbid this band dying in the Verona streets. Hold, Tybalt. Good, Mercutio. Uh, I, I am hurt. A plague on both your houses. I am sped. Is he gone and hath nothing? What art thou hurt? Ay, ay, a scrap. Mary, tis enough. Where is my page? Go, villain, fetch a surgeon. Courage, man, the hurt cannot be punished. No, tis not so deep as a well, nor so wide as a church door. But tis enough to serve a plague on both your houses. A villain that bites on by the book of arithmetic. Why the devil came you between us? I am hurt under your arm. I thought for all the best. Help me into the house, Benvolio, or I shall faint. A plague on both your houses. They have made worms meet of me. I have it a suddenly, a soundly too. Your houses. O oh, Romeo, Romeo, brave Mercutio is dead. That godless spirit hath expired the clouds which the untimely hair did scorn the earth. This day's black fate or mo days doth depend. This but. Begins the woe, others must end. Here comes the furious Tybalt back again. Alive in triumph, and Mercutio slain, away to, our way to heaven respective lenity, and fire-eyed fury be my conduct now. Now, Tybalt, take the villain back again that late thou hast gave me, for Mercutio's soul is but a little way above our heads, staying for thine to keep him company. Either thou or I, or both, must go with him. Thou wretched boy, that didst consort him here, shout with him hence. This shall determine that.
Romeo, be gone, away. The citizens are up and Tybalt slain. Stand not amazed, the prince will doom thy death if thou art taken. Hence, be gone away. I am fortune's fool. Right thou thou stay. Dear lies that Tybalt. Where are the vile beginners of this fray? O oh, noble prince, I can discover all the election madness of this fatal brawl. The lives of man slain by young Romeo that slew thy kinsman, brave and Tybalt, my cousin, O oh, my brother's child, O oh, prince, O oh, cousin, husband, O oh, the blood is spilled, for the blood of ours shed the blood of Montague. O oh, cousin, cousin, Benvolio, who began this bloody fray? Tybalt hid the life of stout Tucho, and then Tybalt fled. But by and by, I comes back to Romeo, who had been newly entered, trained revenge. And two and they go like lightning, for ere I could draw to part them. With stout Tybalt slain, and as he fell, the Romeo turned and fly. This is the truth, or let Benvolio die. He is a kinsman to the Montague. Affection makes him false. He speaks not true. I beg for justice, which thou, prince, must give. Romeo slew Tybalt. Romeo must not live. Romeo slew him, he slew Mercutio, who now the price of his dear blood doth owe. Not Romeo, Prince, he was Mercutio's friend. His fault conduced, but what the law would end, the life of Tybalt. And for that offense, immediately we, we do exile him hence. I have an interest in your hate's proceeding. Let Romeo hence in haste, else when he is found, that hour is his last. Bear hence this body and attend our will. Mercy but murderers, pardoning those that kill. Stay away from me! <laughs> <laughs> 